。好啦，到到呢個 video 咧，今次就係想俾一啲 tips 你哋點樣可以咧去記一啲句子，可以幫你哋寫一啲嘅建議信嘅。咁今次呢個 video 咧就係、是、教你一啲句子點樣去表示明白對方嘅問題。咁尤其是喺作文裏面嘅第一段咧，誒、呃，即係呢個即係建議信裏面嘅第一段咧，你都會先用自己嘅 phrase 咧去表達咗，哦，原來你遇到呢個問題咁樣咧，之後先至喺嗰啲 body paragraph 裏面咧，先至會。提供意見嘅，咁我哋而家睇一睇嗰啲句子啦。好啦，為咗要表示你明白對方嘅問題咧，咁你一般用呢啲句子嘅，咁你就會話 I can totally understand where you are coming from。咁呢個唔係話即係你喺邊個國家嚟或者邊個地方嚟，咁即係意思話我好明白你嘅處境咁嘅意思。咁啊，下一句咯噃。誒下一句咧就表示咧我未試過呢個狀況，而再下一句咧我就試過呢個狀況，咁啊視乎你想點樣表達啦。咁呢一句就係話 ，I have to say that I've never been in your situation, so I'm not exactly sure how to advise you. However, I will give it a go. 咁呢個咧就係話誒，假如條考試題目咧，佢係俾咗你一啲嘅情況，你都應該係未遇過嘅，咁你只係想嘗試俾啲建議佢咧，咁你可以用呢一種句子。咁如果假如你係遇過呢個情況咧，咁你就會話啦喎 ，You know that I've been in a situation very similar to yours, so let me share with you some things I learned from my experience. 咁呢個咧就從我嘅經驗之中啦，俾啲意見你啦。咁跟住之後咧，為咗表示你好同情佢啦，咁你就會講啦 ，It does seem like you, uh, you are in a difficult situation。咁即係話咧，呢個強調咗啦，用 it does seem， 即係呢個係強調啊，嗯，你真係好似遇到一個棘手嘅問題喎、哦，咁樣。咁留意下呢個 it does seem 呢個 seem 後邊係冇 s 嘅，即係好似 does not seem 嗰啲一樣啦 ，does 後邊咧係要接一個不變動詞嘅。咁啊，亦都可以講話咩嘢咧 ？I was sad to hear that you are experiencing problems。咁亦都係表示你好同情佢啦。啊、uh, ，你可以講啦，嗱、这、呢個 phrase 又可以用啦，用即係令到啲句子唔好下下都係 it 啊 I 啊開頭。咁你就話 as far as I can tell, the problem is that your relationship lacks trust。咁當然後邊呢一個係視乎條題目啦。咁咧 the problem is 乜嘢嘢咧？咁你就可以即係加翻用翻個情景唔同嘅情況寫翻自己嘅句子。咁亦都有一句就係、是、，It seems to me that the problem lies in the fact that we haven't considered the alternatives thoroughly enough。咁呢一個咧就係話，即係好似對於我嚟講個問題係你冇諗下有啲咩叫 alternatives 咧，就係冇嗱諗下啲其他可以選擇嘅情況，冇徹底咁諗下其實有其他解決嘅方法嘅。咁呢一個咧就可以用嚟表示你明白個狀況，亦都可以用嚟。講話誒咁，於是你就可以接住落去提供一啲嘅 alternatives 啦，即係一啲另外嘅解決方法，咁樣你咪可以寫多啲嘢咯。咁下一句咯喎 ，It does appear that you are in a difficult situation。咁呢個就你遇到困難啦。咁我你係就好似頭先個 It does seem 嗰句一樣。誒、uh, ，I was distressed to learn that you are experiencing financial。difficulties， 即係咧，我好 distress， 即係我好，即係我好唔開心咁嘅意思啦。咁即係亦都係表示咗同情啦，表示對明白對方。哦，你遇到啲經濟困難，咁呢個可以用一個 if 嘅句子開頭啦。If I've understood your、uh, problem correctly, you are having problems with your school work。咁可能你朋友寫嗰封信咧。就要誒， uh, 即係佢講得唔係太清楚啦，咁於是你就 clarify 啦，啊，係咪即係 exactly 嗰個情況係你其實係唔識得做你啲功課啊，咁呢之類啦。咁呢啲句子咧都可以係一啲即係記一記啲點樣開頭啊，或者係唔同嘅句式啊，咁就試下咧可以寫落去你哋嘅建議信裏邊嘅。好啦，頭先咧啱啱學完嗰啲句子啦，咁啊而家就試下睇下你哋嘅眼力啦。咁呢個八句裏面咧，其實有好幾句咧都係用錯咗啲嘅詞語啦，或者係有啲嘢錯嘅。咁你試下 post 咗佢咧，睇下揾唔揾到啲錯處啦。咁順便咧可以記一下啲句子嘅。好啦，頭先嘅同學咧，應該係即係嘗試揾到啦。咁呢個係錯處咧，就係分別喺第一啦、第二啦、第四、第五同埋第八句裏邊出現嘅。咁如果頭先係揾唔到嘅同學咧，咁而家亦都可以試下 post 出去睇清楚呢度五個句子啦。咁究竟呢五個句子有咩錯處咧？
。好啦，紅色嘅句子就有錯處，咁我哋一齊睇一睇啦。I can totally no， 英文咧 can 後邊咧唔會接 no 嘅，英文咧係 can 後邊咧係接 understand。I can totally understand where you are coming from。第二句咯 ，as r as far as I can can 後邊梗係要接一個不變動詞啦 ，I can tell。第四句啦 ，I was sad to hear that you're experiencing problems。唔係 your 係 your，u apostrophe r e， 即係你係面對緊啲問題。So 第五句咯，係英文咧係 in a situation very similar to yours。係 similar 啦，記住係會用 to 嘅。好啦，接住到第八句啦。If I were you， 呢個係非常之好嘅句式啦，用咗 conditional 可以 show off 下你識得 conditional sentences 啦。咁但係記住，如果咧 conditional to 即係個假設句子啦 ，If I were 啦，就應該係 I would talk。咁所以咧就係唔應該 I will， 應該用 would 嘅。住咧就係寫咗幾段嘅小段嘅，係一啲嘅可以係用喺啲 letter of advice 嘅一啲嘅句子啦。咁我哋睇一睇點用啦。啊、uh, ，let me say first of all that I can totally 乜嘢咧？當然就係 understand 啦。啊，你哋其實可以之前 post 咗佢試一填嘅。I know it's difficult when you have a lot of work to do and life becomes very stressful. You know that I've been in a situation. Similar, very similar to yours. So let me share with you some things I learned from my experience. 咁基本上咧，好多建議信咧，基本上呢一段都係可以用到嘅。第二個小段咯喎 ，I was sorry to hear about the difficulties you are having in your relationship. As far as I can tell, the problem is that your relationship lacks trust. I have to say that I've never been in your situation, so I'm not exactly sure how to advise. 即係建議你啦，你記住用動詞係 S E 嗰個啦。However, I will give it a go. 即係咧，我會嘗試一下嘅。咁啊，再一段話 ，I was sad to hear that you are experiencing problems. It does seem like you are in a difficult situation. 類似呢啲咁樣嘅句子咧，都可以出現喺好多好多嘅建議信裏邊嘅。我好似點解？